Hi everybody! Today I'm going to show you how to make Thai fish meatballs. These are great in so many things as a snack on its own, in some noodle soup. So let's get started. So let's go over the ingredients. You need one tablespoon of salt, two tablespoons of tapioca starch, half a teaspoon of baking powder, two teaspoons of ground white pepper, one pound of any white fish, I'm using cod, and one large clove of garlic. For this, I'm using a food processor. You can also use a blender. It just needs to blend the fish meat very, very finely. So um, I'm just going ahead and putting the fish into the food processor. The garlic clove. I'm tightening up the lid and I'm gonna go ahead and spin. So like I said, this needs to be blended very finely. So I'm just gonna keep this going until it is pretty much almost mush with a consistency similar to play-doh I would say maybe not as dense but that's kind of what you're looking for and of course scrape down the sides to make sure all of the fish has been in contact with the blade so it gets really fine And then we're gonna go ahead and put in the salt, the tapioca starch, the baking powder, the white pepper, and we're ready to spin again. So here's a close-up of the fish meat. As you can see, there's still some little bits in there. We don't want that. So I'm just gonna keep on blending here until it's really fine. Okay, so it looks like it's the consistency that I want. So I'm just gonna take out the blade. So as you can see, it's pretty dense and sticking together pretty well. The tapioca starch helps a lot. And we have some lost footage. I ran out of memory. So knead the fish meat for a few seconds and put it in the freezer for 30 minutes so it can firm up even more. And I have a bowl of water to dip my fingers in so it doesn't stick. And I'm gonna show you how to roll it up. So I know that was really fast. So let me show you slow-mo. I just ball it up into my hand and <laughs> squeeze it right out. And it should make sound effects. No, it shouldn't. Um, I guess it could. But anyway, just shape it into a ball and you're done. So I have a pot of water that was boiling, but I turned it down to a medium low heat. You don't want it rolling because it will um, crack the fish meatballs and it won't look very pretty. So as you can see the surface of the water is pretty still with little bubbles going on um, in the water so I'm just dunking them in the water and forming them a little bit as I go if I see some misshapen ones. And then I'm just gonna let it go for 15 minutes. Um, it will float to the top, doesn't mean it's done because it's fish and um, you don't want any raw fishness going on. So give it about 15 minutes and if you squeeze it, it should be pretty bouncy. And I'm just gonna let that cook. So after 15 minutes or so have passed, you want a bowl of ice water next to you and we're going to scoop out the meatballs and put them into the water to stop the cooking process so it doesn't get too cooked and rubbery. 
and that pot that I'm boiling on the top there is just some uh, noodle stock that I'm about to um, make for the noodles that these meatballs are going to go into. I will make a video of that here soon. And there you have it, some delicious Thai fish meatballs. And you can use different kinds of meat. You can use chicken, you can use beef, you can use pork. Um, pretty much the same techniques as I just showed you. I hope you enjoy and I hope you try it out. And if you do like the recipe, give me a like um, and subscribe to see more videos. And feel free to comment or message me about any other food ideas you'd like me to show you. Thank you and have a great day.